What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. Isby here, coming at you today for the first time in like, what, a month? It's been a long time and I apologize for that. But today, we're going to be opening up some crypto key cases. Uh, I have like 200 of them I think, something like that, I don't know. Um, basically, I apologize, I haven't been uploading a, a million, a million apologies, I apologize, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Black Ops 3 has taken over my life. And as you guys know, I'm not really that confident in my Call of Duty abilities, so I don't know, I haven't been too confident in uploading it, but it's the only game I've been playing, legitimately only game I've touched. Um, you may also notice a few new things uh, about my setup here. Well, first of all, I have a webcam. I ended up getting a face cam for my, uh, for my birthday, that was in the beginning of November. Um, we had a 27 hour stream with the launch of Black Ops 3 and my birthday, um, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a, a blast. I know it was like a month ago already, which is crazy, but that's life, I guess. Uh, another thing you may notice is uh, I got these swaggerific uh, headphones here, and the reason for that is, uh, well, like I said, I'm not too confident in my Call of Duty abilities. Um, and uh, I had some issues with connectivity and stuff, and it made me rage. So, uh, so I broke my headset. I, I threw it across the room, and now it's in three pieces. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. So basically, I'm without a headset for I don't even know how long. If you guys want to help me out with getting a headset, um, I, I do have a GoFundMe set up. Um, as well as a PayPal. I'll put the information in the description below, but I don't want to talk about that. That's I don't want to sound like a beggar or anything like that. But if you guys want to help me out, that's that would be a big help. Um, basically, I look, you know, I don't want to sound like that guy, but if I'm gonna invest in a new headset, I'm gonna go top of the line. I'd like to go for like some A40s or something like that. Um, but yeah, who knows? Who knows? Um, so anyway, let's just hop right into this. I've never actually recorded this way before. This is a YouTube broadcast that I'm just going to not call a broadcast. I'm not telling anybody I'm live right now. And we are just going to record it. And then I'll, I'll add all the details into the editing and stuff later. Um, as far as music goes and everything, I don't think there's going to be music in the video because, I don't know, I'm not really good at editing. If there is music in the video, I hope you enjoy it. If there's not music in the video, well, at least can't say I didn't warn you. So let's hop right in. Um, on Black Ops 3, I am a. Uh, what am I? I am a third prestige, I believe. Let's check it out. Let's check out the stats really quick. We'll go to the barracks. I'm a third prestige, level 30. Um, I have a 1.15 KD. Uh, score per minute has been really low. KD's been really low, and the reason for that, and I, I swear I don't usually play this way, I've been playing kind of really campy lately, and the reason for that is um, I'm working on the diamond camos for my assault rifles, um, so I've been playing a lot of hardcore uh, to get you know easy headshots, easy kills, stuff like that, um, but that's resulted in obviously me just sitting in the back of the map or finding one little corner of the map that I like to work and just staying over there, so... I have been playing a lot of objective-based games. I've really been playing like TDMs and um, and Kill Confirmed. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to bring that up. I'd like to bring that up to like a 400-ish, 400, 450. Um, so that's going to take some work. My KD has kind of been like the same since the game launched. I think it's a 1. Point, what was it, 1.17 now? Um, which, you know what, honestly, I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm not a great Call of Duty player. I don't pretend to be that great. As long as my KD is positive, even by the slightest bit, like I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so uh, my specialist, since you guys have never seen me play Black Ops 3 at all, so oh my god. Um, my specialist that I use is, uh, I use the Vision Pulse um, a lot, just because I don't really, I never really use the specialist abilities, um, especially the weapons. I almost never like double click my buttons like that, almost never. Um, so... I, the Vision Pulse is one that I do remember to use, one that I do use often, so I like it. Um, the Sparrow, that bow and arrow thing, I'm, I'm awful with it. Um, it's the only thing I need to unlock the last thing. I need to get three double kills with the Sparrow. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I really don't think that's ever going to... What I need to do is I need to take it to like Hardpoint or like Domination and like sit over like B-Flag with it or something like that. 
Because I think that's the only way I'm going to do it. In TDM and stuff, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, what else? What else? I don't know. Here's, like, my class setups are kind of stupid because, like, I have a Shiva because I'm working on the Shiva right now. Um, the Shiva is the last gun that I need to get uh, gold camo, the ARs. Um, so I just did the burnt camo. Like, yesterday I grinded. I started off with, uh, started off with Snow Job. And I did uh, Dante, Integer, Speed, and Policia camos. So I, I got, what, 50? I got 70 headshots yesterday. Uh, 10 long shots, 50 kills without any attachments. And uh, 5 double kills. Uh, next, I'm going to have to get 50 kills with 5 attachments and an optic, which I can't do yet because I have to level up to 34. Because um, I can't, I don't have all 3 uh, perk or all three wild cards for primary gunfighter uh, unlocked. So I can't even have extra attachments yet. So I have to wait till I'm 34 for that. Um, and this is get five bloodshed, like, or bloodthirsties or whatever. And, like, that's hard with a Shiva. And especially if you're not that good, like, I'm not that great. Like, the Shiva's a one-hit kill. But if you miss that one hit, everyone else is running around with automatic weapons. So if you miss that one shot, like, you're a dead man. Um, and the gold, obviously. Um, but my go-to gun, like everybody else, is like the M8. I really like the ICR. Um, I don't know. I haven't been playing enough with the SMGs, to be completely honest. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Score streaks. Um, my score streaks are kind of lame because your boy doesn't stay alive long enough to get score streaks, I guess. So I usually just rock the UAV, the Hellstorm, and the Talon. Uh, as you can see, I don't really use my unlock keys too much because I haven't been focused on it really. I haven't. I've been really focused on the camos, and that's just what I've been working on. So I'm not really playing for gameplays right now for the past couple weeks. Like I would say, past week or so, I haven't really been playing for gameplays. I've been knocking out like a gun a day. Um, I had to take like a week and a half off. I just started a new job, so I'm not playing as much as I as I was like say a month or two ago. Um, so, you know, I had, yesterday was actually the first time I played in like a week and a half, almost two weeks. Um, but going over the score streaks, if you guys haven't played or you're not too familiar, you just want my, my opinion as a, as a normal player, not as like a professional or anything. Um, UAVs are whatever, obviously it's UAV. The Hellstorm missiles, I have nothing but trouble with. I feel like the Hellstorm missiles are very weak. Like, you'd be, I don't know if you guys have had the issue, but I've gotten a lot of like hit markers with a Hellstorm missile. It's like, how does that happen? Where I've literally, like, pow, right on someone's head, and they survived. And I don't know why that is. Lightning strikes are kind of cool, but the problem with the lightning strike is that when you pull out your little menu, it tells the other team that you're doing that. So it says, like, lightning strike uh, coordinates, and then it says again when it's coming, like, oh, lightning strike inbound. So it warns them twice that you're going to do that, which I don't think is fair at all. Like, I don't know, why were you going to tell the bad guys twice to go get cover? That defeats the purpose. Um, county UAVs are really useful if you play, like, if you're playing hardcore, county UAVs are really cool. Um, and if you run a UAV, a county UAV, um, like, uh, if you run those two, uh, you get a shit ton of XP. Uh, you really rack them up quick. I've never really used the dart. The Cerebus, or Cerberus, I don't know what to call it, uh, is terrifying. When that thing drops in a game, it's over. Because usually by the time the other team gets it, it's kind of late in the it's kind of late in the game or whatever. Um, they, that thing will fuck you up. <laughs> like, it's bad. When that, when that thing drops, you just have to avoid it. Um, the sentries are super OP. Um, they need to be nerfed big time. Um, guardians are... They're for campers. Only campers use guardians. They're good on, like, domination if you're, like, trying to push a third... If you're trying for, like, a kip, triple cap or, like, there's a lot of pressure on another flag, you can put one on, like, say, like... Um, like, for example, on, like, that map Fringe, uh, there's, like, the B flag in the middle by the trucks, and there's the little elbow by the shed, the little, like, the little alleyway that goes behind that shed. If you put a guardian facing that thing, it cuts off your flank, um, and that makes life a lot easier for you. Um, Rolling Thunder is kind of cool, but at the same time, I don't see people getting more than like four, maybe five kills with it. Um, the Talon is awesome. Uh, it's good if it 
patrols you, but if you if you can get cover and control it yourself, you can easily get 15 kills with it. Um, the Wraith is pretty good. Um, my problem with these high airborne score streaks, though, like the Mothership, the Wraith, even the Hater and the Raps, like they only take like one, maybe two rockets to like they only take like two rockets to shoot down. If I spend all day busting my ass to get, like, a mothership, which is, like, really fucking hard to get, like, you shouldn't be able to shoot it down in one shot. Like, I don't think that's fair at all. Um, the, the airborne, the rockets to the air support, knocking them out, not fun. I think that that's, I mean, I do it a lot. Like, that's how I usually run around with an RPG because free XP, you know? But, I don't know, I'm not a fan of how easy it is to shoot down the air support um as someone who doesn't get streaks that much especially high streaks like myself um it doesn't really hurt my feelings so much but i feel for the people that are like pub stomping and they're grinding and and they really are slayers um they they're getting ripped off in my opinion Vondahar, if you're listening to my measly video fix it make the air support have more flares nerf the sentry guns uh, please. Um, oh, and the GI unit. The GI unit is also terrifying along the same lines as the Cerberus. Um, if you're going to do that, definitely put that shit on um, patrol mode. And it just runs around the whole map just slaying. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go to the black market. Um, I have 228 crypto keys, which is kind of a shame. I was hoping I'd have 230. Um... Because then I could have opened, like, 20 normal supply drops and one rare. Um, so, I think maybe we'll do 19. We'll do 19 common supply drops and then we'll do one rare supply drop. Because in all honesty, from my experience, because I've opened them before. This is on, these aren't the only 200 I've gotten. This was what I got from when I started second prestige up till now. Um, so, I got about two. You get about 200 anywhere between like 180 to 200 crypto keys per prestige if you're playing good if you're really playing um you'll probably get anywhere around like i, I average like 170 a prestige um and then like the 30 more because i'm a rank 30 um so yeah uh and i've heard and from my experience if you're gonna buy supply drops when you buy a lot of the common supply drops you have more you have more of a uh, of a uh, chance of unlocking good shit. Sorry about that. People don't know how to knock on doors. Um, oh yeah, so let's jump right in it. Never know what's in these okay, what nothing. Uh, we got the timber for the 205 Brecci, which is a shotgun. I haven't used any of the shotguns yet. Um, next on my list for gold, the gold hunt and diamond is, is SMGs. I'll do SMGs. Um, and then I'll probably go into the shotgun. So that's going to be a while until we see that. But the timber is kind of cool. It's like a cool leafy green, uh, camo. I don't care about decals. Uh, I already have that calling card. All right. So nothing. I got a good feeling about this. Oh, we got some blue in there. Mm. Okay, okay. We got the stealth for the Razorback. Um, you know, I haven't used the Razorback since the game got launched. I haven't used it since the beta. Um, but, I don't know. That looks cool. I mean, the stealth camos is, in my opinion, um, really boring. It's probably like the lamest camo in the game. Um, the Inferno for the Kudo, the Inferno is a pretty dope camo, so I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, even though it's a common, I do like it. Um, and we got a, a, a magazine variant for the KN-44. Now, the KN-44 was the first gun I got gold for. Um, I've also prestiged the gun twice. Um, but you know what? I'm pr I think that's pretty fucking cool. Uh, it's the Spetsnaz or whatever. Um, unfortunately, I can't put it on until weapon level 15. Um, so we'll have to wait on that. I haven't really been using it that much because I've already prestiged it twice. Um, but we'll check it out. Um, we'll check it out later. Alright, so that's two. Two down, one. Right, we got one more. Let's do this. Alright, the Inferno Combat Knife. I could 
use one of those. That's pretty so. cool. Um, I've never seen the combat knife camos before, but it looks like it's red, and that's pretty sweet. Um, another calling card. This one is uh, I actually just watched Nade Shot doing a case opening. Oh uh, no, Scumpy, Scumper Jumper. I watched him do a case opening. Uh, yo, shout out to Scump. You're like you're like my fucking hero. Um, but uh, he was like, oh, it looks like Dragon Ball Z, and it really does. Like looking at it now, it really does. Um, then we got the finger wag boast for the battery, which I've never actually even used the battery before. The finger wag is just... When you're in the game, if you've never played or if you've never seen it, at the end of the game, the top three scores on the winning team get a, in the winning circle. And you can press a button on your D-pad and, uh, you know, and fucking do your little thing. All right, so moving on. Uh, another another drop right now. Nothing. Nothing. I nothing, nothing, awesome. nothing. Stealth for the ICR, the Inferno for the HVK-30, which I actually became a big fan of the HVK-30 after I got the gold for it and everything. After using it for so long, I can, it's actually a pretty good fallback, especially if you're used to the ICR. If you play with the ICR and say you're playing in an arena and it gets banned, uh, the Inferno is a pretty good... If you put a grip on it and put like long barrel on it, it's actually pretty good. Um, the Weevil, I'm excited to use when I get the SMGs because the Weevil is a lot of fun to use. The Field Camo, also really lame though, so not a, not that excited. Um, what's that, four of them? Four down? Alright, keep it moving. And again, nothing. Uh, we got the Contrast with the ICR, which I think I already have, but I'm actually, I do like that one. Uh, we got the field camo for the CUDA, nothing special, and hallucination. As far as the common camos go, I think hallucination is my favorite. All right, he's decrypting. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, All right. So we got a hallucination camo for the XM53, which is the rocket launcher, which I use a lot. There's also the black cell. Um, but I don't really use that. I mean, they all do the same thing. They only fire two rockets, so I don't even waste my unlock token on that. Uh, deployment calling card, I did not have that, but the calling cards, I don't know. I'm actually kind of happy with the ones I have um, so far that I'm using, so I'm not really that crazy about it. I'm more into the ones that you earn through challenges, and they also have cool rare ones that are like parts of collections, like collect all six of them. I have one from like the circus camo, which again... I think Nade Shot was the one that got the Flame Eater, the Fire Eater calling card, which I have another one, I have the Strongman one, it's the Circus collection, and I was like, man, if I could trade that guy, I would trade him, um, but yeah, and then there's Headshot for the Nomad, again, the Nomad is not somebody I've used before, um, one day I will, I just haven't explored that side of things, I think the Nomad's the guy with the Hive, like, I don't like that, I don't like the Hive and Rejack. Um, okay, so that's what, four, was that five down? How many did we just do? I don't know. I think that was six. All right, well, anyway, moving on. Let's see what we get. All right, we got a laser sight variant. That's what's up. I want to see that. Um, okay, so we got the timber in the BRM, which is a light machine gun. The BRM is pretty cool, actually. Um, I do like the Timber camo. I'm a big fan. Of, I like greens, so that's kind of cool. Uh, field camo for the XR2. Whoop de doo. And the Northwoods M887 laser sight variant. Now, the variants for the attachments they don't make a difference from my experience. Like I've had like a four grip or a quick draw variant before. Sorry, and uh, it didn't like make a, a difference in the performance of the gun. Um, it's just a way to make your gun even more unique. Um, however, with the with the laser sights, one thing I've been curious about is if it changes like the color of the laser sight, because that would be cool. Most people have like the red laser. It'd be cool if you could run around. And it was like a green laser or like a purple laser. Like that would be kind of cool. Um, so actually, let's let's back out and check that out really quick. Let's go to the gunsmith. Um, go to the assault rifles M87. Let's create a variant. Blah 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 blah. And let's see what we got. Um, what do we want? Attachments. Laser sight. Oh, it's just a big old laser. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to come back. One day we'll check that out. One day we'll check that out. Still alive? Let's jump right back into it. 158 to go, uh, which leaves us, what, 12 more. 12 more, and then we got our rare supply drop. All right. Let's go. Oh, we got another one. Seraph, good game. Oh, they clap. That's not that fun. Uh, the old school calling card. That's kind of nice, actually. I like that. Once again, though, I do wish that, you know, it was rare. It was a collection. And a whole lot of nothing. We got the Gorgon Timber, another LMG. Or the uh, Hallucination for the Cuda, which I think I already had. And the Verde for the Haymaker 12, which is a shotgun, which I don't use shotguns. Okay. 138. 10 more. All right, we got the Inferno for the Shiva. Um, I'm probably never going to use this Shiva again. Uh, it was cool and all to get the gold camo, which I'm still... Today, I'll finish that. I'll finish the gold today. Um, but not that exciting. Not that into it. Not really looking forward to using it ever again. I'm not a big fan of the gun. Um, it's really OP, that's for sure. Um, like, in hardcore, it's a one-hit kill, like, above, like, from the waist up. Um, in, in like normal core playlists, you're probably looking at like a two hit kill three, three from like far, far range, like cross map status. Um, stealth camo is nothing special and the timber camo once again is cool, but nothing special. Let's hope for some rares. Let's hope for some elites. Let's hope for some legendaries. I want to see what it is as bad as you do. All right, so we got a whole bunch of timber there. The timber ICR camo, the orcs calling card, which kind of matches the camo, and then the timber combat knife camo, which actually looks pretty sick. I saw that in a video the other day. Guy was waving it around or whatever, and it looked it looked like a CS:GO knife, which I think is kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, though, with the CS:GO knife, the guy who gets it can make a couple hundred bucks. I can't because I can't sell it. Oh look, we got some people joining the stream. Hey people, if you're joining the stream, this is just recording a YouTube video, but my name is Mr. Ismi. You can catch me on my Twitch channel later, twitch.tv slash ismi underscore pushes buttons uh, in about a half hour from now. All right, moving along. Never know what to Okay, so we got the Verde cam uh, camo and the MR6, which I already had. That was like one of the first camos I ever unlocked in this game. Um, a good game, or much love, I guess is like the heart thing, like, uh, that's, uh, for the Prophet, which the Prophet's kind of cool, I guess, like, I like the glitch, uh, Tempest Gun, I'm not a big fan of, a lot of people like it, it's cool to, like, clear out a whole room if they're all camping or whatever, but, whatever. And then the Timber for the 48 Dredge, which is another shotgun, I believe, um, so that's cool, I guess. Alright, uh, what do we have, seven more, seven more common supply drops. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, so we got the creature feature calling card, which, uh, oh, it's a Godzilla taking over a city. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, the field camo for the MR6. Uh, wow, that camo's kind of ass, but it looks good on that pistol. Not going to lie, looks good on the MR6. And then the surf's up calling card, which is whatever. Kind of reminiscent of this old video game I used to play called, uh, oh, man. Oh, man, I don't remember. It was called, like, uh, Pacific Surf and Sun or something like that. It was on the original Nintendo, and it was all about skateboarding and surfing, and it was amazing. It was, like, the coolest game ever. Um, but it, that looks a lot like the uh, the intro, like, scene or whatever. It had, like, colors like that, and it was waves rolling in and stuff. Awesome game. Super fun. Okay, uh, keep going. We got six more. Cash money. That's, uh, I believe that's where they make it rain on you. Yeah. Make it rain on you. Yeah. Uh, stealth camo for the M8 and the Hallucination for the RK5. Um, the RK5 is a really good pistol. And the Hallucination camo, like I said, for common, uh, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool looking. Um, yeah. Here we go. All sales final. 
What? What is that? We got an epic, boys. We got an epic. All right, so we got the Inferno for the Locust. We got the Timber with the KRM. Oh, another shotgun, whatever. And the Monochrome for the MR6. Let's go see what that looks like right now. Uh, I need that class. I don't need this class. Mm. Uh. Oh, fuck yeah. Look how sick that is. There we got the Verde, the Field. Look how fucking sick that is. Sorry for my language, but look how sick that is. Oh my god. Oh, it moves. It's got like Japanese symbols going down it and like blood splatter. That's pretty freaking sweet. I'm a, all right. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm a fan of that. I can't wait to see that in game. Like in the game, it's cool because like, you see it in different light aspects and stuff, and that's when you can really appreciate the camo. So I'm I'm pretty excited to check that out. I don't normally run around with a pistol, but. I might have to do that. Well, one day I'm going to have to go for gold because I do want to get the dark matter camo, which means I have to get diamond in every class. So I will have to do the pistols eventually. Um, so how many we got left? 78, so that's what? Four more advanced supply, or common supply drops. Oh shit. It's an advanced. The intensity VMP camo, that's pretty sick. The timber knife, we already got that, didn't we? All right, whatever. And the Verde Vesper. Um, so we got another legendary camo. We are on a good roll right now. A couple good supply drops right in a row. Pretty hyped on that. Like I said, guys, if you have a lot of them, the common supply drops are the way to go. The rare supply drops, you know what? You're guaranteed to get a rare or better, but only one, and that's that. Like, you can open up a, a common supply drop and get three rares, or you can get one in every one, you know? It's, it's the luck of the draw. It's, it's luck at the end of the day. Um, so the Intensity VMP camo. Let's go check that out. Um, I don't know if I have the VMP unlocked. You know what? Fuck it. We'll unlock it. Sorry for my language again. Oh, we got the snow job camo. Alright, that's kind of cool, I guess. I guess. I don't like how it's, like, flickering. I feel like that'd be distracting to me. Um, but, I mean... Whatever, for a camo, it's pretty cool. I've never seen anybody with it before, and that's pretty cool. Like, that's a cool thing about these camos is a lot of people don't have a lot of them yet. In a couple months, everybody's going to have, like, all of them, but whatever. This is the hallucination camo, like I've talked about. And this is the pixel camo. I have this on a couple guns. It doesn't look so good on this gun, but I have it on a few of them, and I'm a, I'm a fan of it. Uh, it's another rare, and I like it. So that's pretty cool. All right, um, back to the black market. We got three more, three more, and then our our rare supply. Here we go. All sales. Let's see what we got. All right, look at that. Four was that four in a row? We got a, a a legendary, an elite, and two rares. Is that how that went? I don't know. I don't know. But still, we got the violet on the P06 camo. Um, I just used the P06 the other day for the first time. Takes a little getting used to, um, especially if you're not quick on your snipe. Like I'm not that quick with it, because um, it does take like a split second longer to fire the gun, because it has to actually charge the shot and then shoot it. Um, but it's really accurate, um, and it's uh, I like the gun. It just takes a little getting used to. So that's uh, the violet. That's pretty cool looking. Let's go check that out. What do you think? You want to go check? I know I don't have that unlocked. Um, I'm, oh, we can go to the gun store. Oh, the gunsmith. Hold up. Blah, 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 blah. Um, what is it? Camo. Black market. Violet. Ah, right, that's kind of, kind of cool, I guess. See, guys, that's the stealth camo. Look how boring and lame that is. Oh, that's, I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know. Um, kind of boring. Uh, it's kind of a bummer that it's on a sniper rifle because I don't snipe that often. Not yet, at least. Maybe later on in the game when, you know, I have more of a, a feel for it and everything. But I've just kind of been hanging out with my ARs and just chilling and having a good time. So I'd like to get on the sniping grind and everything. And probably by the time I do start getting into it, I'm going to be so far behind the eight ball on it with all the tricks and everything. But whatever. 
That's okay with me. I do it for fun. I'm not pretending to be pro. I'm no Pomage. Shout out to Pomage. You're a fucking... You're a god. Um, but anyway. Anyway. Moving on. I think we have two more. You got yeah, two more. Let's make them two good ones. Alright! Fuck yeah! We got the ice for the Gorgon camo. Now I got ice on the XR2. This camo is fucking sick. Um, if you ever played Advanced Warfare, it looks a lot like the AW, uh, the uh, X-Ray camo, I think it was, which you could only get if you purchased. So it's kind of cool that this was shit that we earned. This was shit that we did on our own. Um, big fan of the ice camo, um, especially you know for the Gorgon. Whatever, it's an LMG. The LMGs are pretty cool because... Um, you know, because they're, they're fucking cool. Um, they're, they're really overpowered, and so a lot of people use them. Um, but they're good to have. They have their purpose in the game, for sure. Um, let's check that out. See, so this, the ice cam. Uh, you can't really, you can't really appreciate it on this gun. I don't know. Like, it has motion to it. It shows, like, steam kind of going through it, like crystals of ice. Like, if you look on the gun cartridge in, like, this little region right here, um, you kind of see it. Uh, but, yeah, you can't really appreciate it on this gun. Not going to lie. I'm not really happy about that. Um, but whatever. I mean, we got it, and that's what matters. That's another epic in the belt. Or under our belt? Under our belt. In the bag. All right, back to the black market. We got one more, game. one more common one. supply drop, and then we have our rare supply drop, and then we will call this video a video. Here we go. All things final. Okay, and a whole lot of nothing to finish off the supply drop. So we had like what four or five in a row that were awesome. So that's thumbs up for that. Drop a like if you liked getting all that legendary shit with me and rare and elite, whatever the hell it is. Um, so we got the stealth, uh, with the weevil, so that's cool, I'll use that. Uh, the inferno, once again, it's a camo that I really do like. I think I already had that one, though. Um, I think we got it earlier in this drop, actually. Uh, with the KRM-262, and the decal of a wolf, which, whatever. I don't really care about decals, um, whatever. Okay, so here we go. The rare supply drop. This is for all... Well, not all the marbles, but 30 out of our 38 marbles. Uh, so here we go. Drum roll, please. Should we do a nose pick? Nose pick, because it's the last one. I want to see what it is as bad as you do. And a whole That's lot of nothing. We got the bow. So he's just going to bow, because that's lame. Uh, we got the field camo and a gas mask. So as you guys can see there, the rare supply drops are really not that great. But we had a lot today. We got a lot of cool shit stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Sorry about my language, guys. I keep forgetting this is YouTube and not my stream. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for checking this out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. If you want to see more of that, I will be doing that at the end of every prestige. So I'm about rank 30 right now. Unfortunately, it's not going to be that big because I just spent all my, my cryptos. But um, we'll probably do like another 10 or so. I'll probably have like 100 cryptos by that time. Um, hopefully. We'll see. It's a grind is real. Um, but either way, drop a like if you did. Comment below if you're jealous or if you want to tell me that you got better shit in your supply drops or whatever. Um, I want to know. I want to hear about it. Um, also in the description below, you can find my YouTube channel, my Twitter. Well, no, this is my YouTube channel. You're going to find my Twitch, my stream. You're going to find my Twitter, um, everything like that. Also guys, I do want to do an ask is me video cause I haven't, I have been slacking and I figure a vlog would be pretty easy for me to do. So go onto my Twitter, use the hashtag ask is me, uh, or you can put in the comments below, ask me any questions you want, whether it's about gaming, about life, whatever it is, just ask me a question. Uh, and if I like it, I'll answer it in the video. Um, so yeah, please do that. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. My name is Mr. Ismi, and I'll see you later.